Video journal blog entry number one, October 31st, 2010. This is the baby update. Baby is getting along really well. We were able to take her vet wrap off today and she will not be needing to have it back on anymore. Her limp is less and less and less. She's so silly. I think she's kind of a faker. Um, when she's around me, it seems like she just wants to die. But when she's around her friend, she's like, yeehaw, giddy up, kick the heels up and let's go. But she's limping and she's sore and she is hurt. So, life lessons learned. Um, we put her on a Highline today and she did fine. And we fed her on a Highline today. And uh, she stood tied on a Highline all day. <laughs> so we just wanted to make sure that she was alright with that um, while she's recuperating. She's not jumping around or anything like that. She was pretty happy to get off the picket line. But uh, off the high line, um, and we had her between two trees. So um, we're going to tie high, not low. There's, it's different tying low. Everybody out there who hasn't gone camping, tie high, go high. Whatever you do, don't tie low. Horses can get themselves in trouble, so I've learned. And all you long riders out there, I'm taking y'all's advice. Um, other than that, we actually are really um, grateful we were able to pick up a classic equine, two classic equine saddle pads and inadvertently, this is neat, I saw one that was pink and black and I'm like, oh pink, you know, I'll take it and when I got it up and closer to me and actually put it on Fancy's back to tack her up to see what she looked like with it, it would fit her it's got the little cancer pink ribbon on it which was really touching so I did some internet searching and there's the Tough Enough store which is tough enough to wear pink Dot com. Um, that's also a really nice thing. Also, for all of you out there who are following us, we want to thank you for your hospitality, your contributions. Without you all, I'm going to say it once, as I'll say it a million times, that without you, this ride would not be possible. We've made some changes to the update. Um, we've changed, made some updates and changes to the website just a little bit. Um, so please visit www.buffalomoonranch.com. And um, if you would like to contribute to keep the ride going, that would be awesome. I know a few of you have, and we really do appreciate that. Um, other than that, it looks like our healing time is about five to six days from now, probably less. And we will um, pretty much pick up where we left off. Um, Rocky, if you're reading this blog or listening to this blog, I need to call you and talk to you about an option for trail learning because I'm going to take you up. We are going to take you up on your help you have offered us and um, yeah you can kick my butt for not listening to you in the first place <laughs> so anyway um, Anna if you're watching this dear we can't thank you enough for taking care of Sophie and uh, Libby while we're gone and I know the girls will be in great care with you Nicole you as well I thank you for your understanding and your patience while we're away um, and we're kind of doing this battle and most likely I forgot to put the Lawton people on the thank you legacy and memorial wall so I did that tonight so if I've missed anybody please email me and let me know others who are following please don't be bashful email us with families you would like us to ride for this ride is about you and the families who've been touched by cancer so um, without getting too long here I think that's pretty much it and I've said um over 100 times for people out there who like to count <laughs> people who say um <laughs> Anyway, so I think that's about it. Right now, Mark and I are just relaxing, kind of recouping ourselves, and we are looking forward to hitting the road. It's really weird not being under saddle every day. This is just a short delay. We are very positive, encouraged to get back out on the road, meet and greet more people who have been touched by cancer, and hope that we are inspiring them as much as they are inspiring us. It's a journey of, you know... It's a magnificent journey. It's very profound. It's like exquisite catharsis every day. Every day is, I promised myself I wasn't going to itch my nose on screen. I just did. <laughs> anyway, um, it is a profound catharsis every day we swing up into that saddle. And all of those out there who are following and our friends and our family, every time we swing into that saddle, you are definitely with us in spirit. So I guess I'll close right there. But seriously, don't be bashful. Please email us with questions where you think we might uh, be able to pick up some press about this ride. Um, the press is always good in some ways. They're, they've been really good to us and accurate, which we also appreciate. 
and now it's time it's time to bring out the winter gear and you'll be seeing us in different clothes which is nice to change in different clothes after so many weeks so far but we're still praying for good letter good weather and um, please um, pray for us for safety and our girls that this ride will make it to its completion without any other delays or hindrances so over and out video journal blog entry number one october 31st Halloween 2010.